I'm your vegan food explorer. Now, it is coming up to summer in the UK, which means temperatures are gonna to start to go up. And as the temperature goes up, there's only one thing you can eat. It's gotta be vegan ice cream. We're gonna to put today, head to head, two of the absolute pinnacles of vegan ice cream and see which one comes out on top. Let's get into it. Now these two ice creams are pretty, pretty serious. And let me explain the price, the outline, what they are, and then we're gonna do a full on taste test. Right, if you believe the marketing campaigns, then, um, and of course we all do, these are the most premium ice creams you can possibly ever buy. I mean, look, they've got gold on them. They must be the most premium. These are normally RP, £3.50 a pack. You get three ice creams in each one, so £3.50 a pack. To be honest, I think that's a bit of a rip. That's pretty expensive. But I got these on offer from Sainsbury's for two pounds each, which I think is an absolute bargain. That's just in a quid for a each ice cream, quite significantly less. Um, and I think, you know, these are the most premium ice cream um, out there. They still come in a plastic wrapper and in a cardboard box. So, you know, it's different levels of premiumness, but Magnum are top 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 range and I was really interested and excited when I saw that they came out vegan anyway let's have a look first off the packaging like I said it's got this lovely gold I assume it's real gold it, it must be it's magnum um, and it's got really interesting it's got this gold foil here it's got really nice bits down here don't know what the hell they are some leaves don't know why that has anything to do with ice cream but I really like it potentially because they've got rainforest alliance potentially don't know but I think it's really nice. When I was looking at these in Sainsbury's, they really popped off these shelves. They look absolutely brilliant. Um, so a couple of interesting things here. They are vegan. Um, they're vegan. Oh, it's, it's the European Vegetarian Union approved. So not vegan society, but they are the Vegetarian Union approved. So I'm not sure what that means, but it says vegan. Um, it's got vegan all over it, which is great. Interestingly, I didn't realise that Magnum are actually owned by Unilever. And Unilever are that massive conglomerate that make bleach, I think, all different sorts of things, but also loads and absolutely tons of different foods, household products, everything like that. Um, but they also now own the Vegetarian Butcher, which makes the What The Cluck, and also make the vegan chicken that is in the latest Burger King Chicken Royale. So I think that's a really interesting move from a big company now making their vegan versions across a lot of their products. Anyway, my favorite Magnum before I was vegan, was the vegan almond, so I can't wait to try this. They've also got an original flavor, but I thought original, a bit boring. Let's get this sea salt. I haven't actually had, I don't think, a sea salt, um, a sea salt like lolly ice cream style. Um, I've had obviously tons of sea salt different um, in a pot, so I'm interested to see what that's, that is. Ingredients, it's kind of the usual, usual little friends we have here, water, sugar, Cocoa butter, because who in 2021 uses milk anymore? Nobody. And um, we've got some sugar, we've got some pea protein. So there are a number of E numbers on here. Now, E numbers aren't necessarily as bad as you think. E numbers, I discovered, um, since I started reviewing food for my one of my hobbies, um, I often think of E numbers, right, those are the things that used to send me loopy when I was a kid at school. But actually, that's not true. Some of them can be, but an E number just means a Europe number. So it's, it's a, I believe, and I'm probably not getting this 100% right, but basically they're numbers given to all foods um, and drinks, I think, across Europe. So for example, example I think water, has any e number or definitely oxygen, one of those sorts of things. So now you can see not e, all E numbers are created equal. So don't suddenly have a panic that these have E numbers in. And um, the E numbers, I think it's just the emulsifiers and stabilizers. There's nothing too mad going on there. So I think we're safe with that. We're not gonna start bouncing off the walls, well, any more than I normally do. Um, so enough chatting, let's try these out. I'm gonna open each one up and have a look at it and then we're gonna do a taste test. So like I said, packaging, lovely. I'm gonna put that back up there. So this is the almond. Yeah, vegan. 
I think they look really nice. Am I going to eat both of these myself? Yes. Before you ask. So they're different, slightly different colours. They don't actually say on them, I don't think. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, packaging, I mean, exactly the same as the regular non, non vegan ones. I just think these are awesome. They seem a bit smaller, but I think maybe that's just because I'm bigger than I was when I last was eating Magnums. But anyway, let's open them up and see what's what. No, that is definitely, is it definitely? I don't know, I don't think so. I think that's the normal Magnum size. Okay, let's put that over there. I've actually been to one of those Magnum shop things where you get one of these and they pour all sorts of crazy stuff over them um, before I was vegan, um, quite a while ago actually, but we could do that. Maybe for another video we'll try and do that. But anyway, let's have a look. Right, so the almond, do you know what? There seems to be a bit of the missing almond up here. I mean, that's just a normal Magnum, but looks pretty good. Really big bits down there. Looks great. Looks really nice. Sea salt. I actually carried these back on my home on my my uh, my bike, so they were probably a bit broken from me. So I don't think that's anything against Magnum, but look good to me. Solid. Right. Let's do the taste test. Okay. Right. We're going to start with the almond, because this is the one I've got most imprinted on my taste buds. Let's have a look. I mean, smell wise, can you even smell things that are, that are um, frozen? I don't know. S smells really nice. It's got that nutty texture coming through. Mm. Oh, that chocolate. Yeah, it's so good. It's so rich and deep. Oh, this is gonna be good. I was a bit worried because this is kind of like, do you meet your heroes again? A vegan version of this, it has to be right. I, I assume they must have spent a lot of time getting this right. Okay, let's try some of the ice cream. So that's the chocolate layer. As I said, I haven't actually got any um, almonds yet, but let's go on. Oh man, that is so good. So I'd normally, don't worry, I'd normally bite off all of the chocolate and then slowly eat the ice cream. But we're, for re reviewing purposes, we've got to get the full experience. Let's try some of the ice cream now. That is seriously good. You could never, ever in a million years tell that that didn't have dairy milk in. And why would you? I'm not even surprised. We have things like cocoa butter, excuse <coughs> me, soy bits and things like that to give it that smoothness, that that creaminess. It's it's done. Dairy is dead. This is the last, the final almond covered ice cream, nail in the coffin of dairy. It's official. I mean, that tastes so good. And it's it it's it just react. I think they had the taste done a while ago, but now the texture is perfect. I mean, it's not melting horrifically. Um, but it is slowly melting. That's another weird thing sometimes vegan ice cream does that it doesn't melt or it melts really strangely, which I, I don't think is good because you want that meltability so that it gets really creamy. Okay, that is outrageous. Really, really good. The almond bits are great. The chocolate, it's so rich. It almost tastes like a, I know this is a cliche, but like the Belgian chocolate, I do think that has a definite taste, which is very rich, very deep. Um, really really nice not too sweet either i am seriously impressed with that right it's with great um sorriness if that's a word that i put that down right but i can only do it because i know i've got this lined up so let's crack on with that i'm just gonna cleanse my palate right so it's just looking on the ingredients and it does have sea salt in it so that's quite good um, sometimes they try and do it with some flavorings, but I'm really excited to see if the sea salt's in the chocolate or the ice cream. I don't know, oh, it's caramel. So I don't know what's gonna be. Actually, sorry, smell taste. Smell test. Can't smell anything. Okay. I think the caramel's in the chocolate, I'm not sure, that tastes a lot smoother than that one. They are quite different colors. So yeah, I think it may be a caramel in the, the chocolate. That is a lot smoother and thinner. 
which I guess it has to be for the almond bits. But yeah, this tastes currently just like a normal original Magnum. Let's try some of the ice cream and see where we are. Okay, I'm a complete idiot. It's caramel in the ice cream, not the chocolate. But the chocolate does taste a lot different to that. This is just mirrors its slightly different colour. It's nice though. Mmm. Wow. That is really nice. It's a hell of a lot sweeter than that, than the almond. Um, I would say the chocolate, because it's thinner, it's not as rich and deep, but it's it's more just our le outer layer. And I think they've probably done that because the actual ice cream is, is quite, not overpowering, but it's definitely full on. Like, there was absolutely no question in my mind when I knew where the caramel was when I tried the ice cream. Mm-hmm. Wow. I can't taste as much sea salt. I'll be brutally honest. I can't taste any sea salt in that. But I can 100% taste the caramel. I wouldn't call that a, a sea salt. I would call that a caramel magnum, which is not a bad thing. I would say that's, that's nice. It's for me, okay. Am I gonna say what I'm gonna say? I think so. I think when you put them head to head, for me, this is just rock solid. Absolutely nailed it. It's perfect, the almond, it's got the, it's got that ice cream meltability in the middle. The chocolate is quite thick, but it's got that really rich, deep flavor that holds on those almonds. This is really, really nice, but you've got to like caramel to, to, to enjoy it. It's, it's quite, it's quite sweet and I'm not sure I really want that in my ice cream. I think it's maybe a bit too much, but if you really like caramel, you're gonna absolutely love this. I remember they used to do the ones with the layers, Magnums with the layers, kind of has that vibe to it with the caramel taste, but I wouldn't say that I could taste the sea salt. I'm gonna have another bite. No, it's nice, but I'm gonna go back to the almond one more. Mm. That one has to do it. Okay, so I've just had the almond one again, and then and then the, the sea salt. And I've got to say, the chocolate on the almond one is so rich. I'm so glad I started with that one because it's my absolute, probably my all time favorite ice cream I've ever had. Um, and it just nails it. The ice cream is so smooth. The almond bits are just perfect, they give that crunch. And the chocolate, I honestly think the chocolate on this tastes better than the non-vegan one. I always remember enjoying this, but I never remember it tasting that good. It's so nice. And it's just, it's a bit lighter than the other one, I think. But it's really liberally laid on there. I think that's more than the traditional um, dairy almond one, just to get all that, hold the almonds in place. Then the sea salt. I was a bit disappointed with the, the sea salt itself. I was really expecting that kind of tang to the to the flavor. It doesn't quite have that. Is it a great ice cream? Yes, I think it is. I think the chocolate is why it's not quite as deep as the almond one. It's still very nice. And the, the caramel ice cream is definitely, I, I haven't had anything quite like that. It's really soft and um, yeah, very strong. But I think potentially a little bit too strong for my liking and a bit like on your, on your teeth, but Still really, really nice. I would give it out of 10 if I had to be pushed. And I just want to say I never give a seven because I think you've got to commit to either, a, if you're gonna, if you're on a seven, you've got to commit. Is it a six or an eight? A seven is the lazy answer. So we never do that. So I would say for me, I've got to give this, I just think it's got to have a 10. I think it's better than the, the non-vegan version. I never remember it being that good. It's so good. I'm going to eat this straight after this video. Just chomp it down. The ice cream is perfect. The almonds are perfect. The, the chocolate on the outside is amazing. Mind blowing. Uh, 10 out of 10. This for me, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Is it? I think this could fall into the seven category. And if I say eight or six, I think for me, it might be a six just because it's not 
mind-blowing. This is mind-blowing. The almond is mind-blowing. Is it good? Yes, it's definitely above average. Very, very nice ice cream. Definitely can, you know, this could go against some he pretty heavy weights of the dairy ice cream, but for me, just lacks a bit of the sea salt and the, the caramel flavoring. Just needs a little bit of refining. Um, and also the chocolate on the outside. Just It just needs that richness that the almond one has. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives a little bit of a lowdown on the most premium ice cream you can buy. Probably need a big asterisk there to say, according to um, the implied uh, advertising campaign of Magnum. Um, so I hope that helps. Let me know which one's your favorite. Let me know if the original is amazing, if I need to pick that up. Um, and try it out but let me know if you're team almond or you team sea salt down in the comments and of course i will see you in the next video see you later